Karen Jetley Live. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to discuss shortest job first for CPU scheduling. Okay. So guys, I made this video before also, but unfortunately that file got corrupted. So again, I have to re-record it. So guys, now we will discuss shortest job first. Okay. So guys, so these are my processors. Like I have total P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 processors and these are their arrival times and this is the burst time. So burst time is how much time of the CPU they need to finish their execution. So guys, shortest job first, we will study keeping preemption in mind. Okay. So we will, we will assume like this scheduling is preemptive scheduling. So if some process is running and some other process arrives and whose burst is small, then the remaining burst of the present process, then there will be context switch means the CPU will jump from this process to the another process. Okay. So guys, let us do it. Okay. Now, if you look at this, we have two processes P2 and P4. So they both arrive at the same time. They both arrive at time zero. And so P2, its burst is three and P4, its burst is Okay, so out of that, which job requires less time? P2 requires less time. So P2 will start executing. P2 will start executing. Okay, so guys, after one second, when P2 has already finished his one second of execution, okay, so then process another process P3, it arrives. At time one, process P3 arrives now again cpu will compare so p2 has already completed one second so how much burst is remaining it is time left is two seconds so again it will compare which is small again p2 is small so it will continue it will continue with p2 okay so then after another one second that is time two then time two so where P2 has already finished is two seconds. Now one is left. One is left. Process P1 comes. So here remaining time is one and the burst for P1 is four. So what CPU will do? It will continue with process P2. So P2 will start at zero and, and, and it will finish at three. Okay. So P2 will start at zero and finish at three. Now P2 is complete. Now P2 is complete. At time three, how many processes we have remaining who are waiting for their turn? That is P1, then P3 and P4. Okay. Still P5 did not come because P5 has to come at time five. So at time three, we have P1, P3 and P4. Now out of these, now out of these, whose burst is small. Smallest, shortest job is P1. So at time three, P1 will start executing. P1 will start executing. So when P1 will start executing at time three, at time five. So at time five, P5 will come. Okay. So at time five, but P1 has already finished its two seconds of execution or two seconds is remaining. Two second is remaining. So then again, CPU will compare the remaining burst of P1 that is two and the present burst of P5 that is six, which is small. P1 is small. So it will continue with P1 and it will finish P1. So P1 starts at three and P1 finishes at seven. Okay. Now P1 also gone, right? Now we have three processes left that is p5 p4 and p3 now which has the smallest burst p5 has the smallest burst so it will start at time 7 and p5 will finish at 7 plus 6 13 p5 also done okay so then we are left with p4 and p3 so which is small p3 has the shortest time so p3 will start at 13 P3. It will start at 
me like write it cleanly p3 so p3 will start at 30 and it needs 9 seconds so it will end at 22 okay now comes the last process whose the burst time was longest okay it will be the last to be executed p4 so p4 will start at 22 and it will end at 32 sorry it will end at 32 here comes p4 here comes p4 so guys this is the gantt chart for this is the gantt chart for shortest job first okay and guys this will be the average waiting time for all these processes in shortest job first and how do we calculate the average waiting time that i have already explained you in first come first serve okay so you can refer to that video i will also leave the link of that video in the description so guys i hope i made myself clear and i hope you understand that so guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading more and more IT videos and so on. All of you, thanks for watching and stay tuned.